Good morning, guys. It is Fix It Friday. Get it my day story, make a list for Gary, and uh, I'm gonna go get him around 10 o'clock and um, get some work done around here. Hi guys, how y'all doing? I'm gonna go get Gary, and as usual, I um procrastinated getting started. I was going to go to Home Depot before I went and got Gary because it is almost 12 o'clock now because, you know, he works nights so I can't pick him up till 11 or 12 and um, I have my list here. Mainly we're going to do stuff outside today because um, it's getting warm. Well, it's cool today. It's been cool the last couple of days, strangely enough. So, um, but it will start heating up and I don't want to be doing stuff outside when it's too hot. So, yeah, mostly outside, but I we do want to do my mattress and have him help me do my mattress and hang some curtain rods. And then the rest of the stuff is outside. So I want to get some mulch and some plants and stuff like that. So hopefully it won't get too late before we get back. Anyway, I'll turn you guys around so you can see where I'm going like I usually do. All right, let's go get Gary. Yes, I pulled back in the driveway. Cause, uh, I'm checking to see if I locked the front door. I'm sure I did, as I always do. I don't know why I do this, so I have to go check it. I just have to go check it. Okay, yes, it was locked. Did I have any doubt? Apparently, I did. <laughs> do you guys do that? Oh, it's not. It's not an OCD thing, at least that's what I'm telling myself. It's more of a late forgetful thing. And it's, you know, one of those mundane things that you do every day. So then when you actually do it, you forgot that you did it. Did you do it? You question yourself. Did I do it? I do it every single day. So did I do it today? Or was that yesterday? <laughs> anyway, whatever. <laughs> Backsplash. Is that no? Not necessary backsplash. Just tile. It doesn't match my decor. Kind of looked like boho chic. But it's so pretty. Love, love it. I do want to do our backsplash. Gary, how's your backsplash still? Do you think you could do our backsplash in our kitchen? Maybe. Oh, you need to look to see what it looks like all together. That's a little Just busy. Sure. I don't know where you'd put that exactly. Oh, oh, no, no. In your bathroom. So I'm getting some of these pine bark mugget nuggets to freshen up the landscaping. Well. So this is absolutely gorgeous, but do you see the price on that? And here's the problem. They put these things out and first of all, it's under shade. That ain't gonna work in Florida. <laughs> it ain't gonna work in Florida. It's gonna die. And for $30, I ain't buying something that's gonna die. Yeah. I'm contemplating getting this. Hopefully you can hook it up to the golf cart. I don't know. It's $89. I think maybe. I think maybe. Alright, so we're back from Home Depot. 
Get out of the way. <laughs> and uh, Gary's going to build this. I'm going to take some recyclables out to the road. And Gary says, so how's the bike riding going? You got a flat tire. No. I have a flat tire. And it's, I just flat. Get... it's just flat on the it's bottom. It's flat on the bottom. It's an ongoing family joke. Anyway. So, um, yeah, I need to do 10 miles on my bike, or 8 miles. I already did 2 miles this week. I need to do 8 more, and I plan on doing it on my bike, so Gary's going to fix the flat tire for me, right, Gary? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I still haven't gotten a new basket. Oh, wow, this wasn't on my list. All right. Okay, I did not buy any plants to replace these ones here. It looks like, yeah, I kill things. <laughs> it looks like it's still alive down here a little bit. Um, I think I'm gonna take these out and put cactus in here. It's too hard to water it down this way, so that's the only way it's gonna survive if I put cactus in here and yeah, I didn't, like I said, I didn't buy any plants today, but that's for a project on another All right, so it is too hot outside. I am not doing the landscaping. Did you finish, you didn't finish putting up the, the, no. what do you think together? No. So Gary didn't, he was going to put the, the, the utility cart that we bought together, but we're going to do this mattress so first. that, first, so that it has enough time to inflate or whatever you call that, um, before bed tonight. So I'm not gonna film all this because I'll just show you what it looks like when it's done, but I am doing filming of it for another video because I'm going to do a review. Anyway, I wanted to lay in the bed and Gary's like, no, 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 get up. No, 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 I was no, no, laying no. down like, I am so tired for some reason today. No. So change of plans. I'm not doing the landscaping. I'll do it tomorrow and that will be in another video. All right, I'm gonna take this apart. Right, guys, Gary um finished the cart and i'll show you that in a minute and he's on the front porch doing the um lights so i'm probably not going to get anything that's done today because you can see here this was a project i had to clean under the bed but that's going to be in another video that's going to be my spring cleaning video so i have a mess to clean up here and uh yeah <laughs> so gary replaced okay. that light and was that one working hmm? did you have to replace it yeah i had to replace it what was wrong with the other one wasn't working. Oh, okay. And, um, Gary was going to get the push broom and see if he can clean up oh. whatever the frick that is up there. What the hell is that? Spores? Bug spores? I don't know. There's gook. some mud doggers up there. Gary said it's gook. Good job, Gary. He got all, all that stuff off. Except for the mud doggers. I could get that off with the hose. Good job. All right. Gary yeah, built the cart. Awesome. So I am not doing any of the landscaping today like I thought I was going to. Um, the kiddos are coming over tomorrow. And I'll let them play in the yard while I do some landscaping. I might have Michaela and Abby help me weed some. and Because I forgot to pay them. Well, I didn't forget to pay them the last time they helped. Um, I didn't have any cash on me. So I have cash on me now. And so if they help me finish... I will do that and the kids can play in the yard while I'm doing the landscape. What do you want to show me? So that attaches is uh that attaches to the golf cart. Awesome! Somehow we can attach to the golf cart. We need to add something to the golf cart though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well that's perfect then. We have I have been looking for a utility cart for a long time and they were like three hundred, two hundred and fifty dollars. And what was this one? Eighty nine dollars? Eighty nine. Yeah, and the sides come off, although Gary said not very well. <laughs> well so they, you could use it as a flat bed. They come off too well. They come off too well. What does that even mean? They don't just drop down when you when you when you unattach them here. Yeah. Make a lot out of them. Oh. They, just, they just come off. Oh, okay. Oh, heavy! What? All those bags are. Yeah. Go ahead, push it. Why? Push it with all that heavy stuff on there. Oh my god. Wow. Not That's super easy. Pull Where it. You've been all my life. <laughs> That's awesome. I'm so happy I bought that. Yeah. 
Two thumbs up for sure. The link is down below. <laughs> Just kidding. It oh. does have this thing you can put on the bottom too. But it's like really thin. It's not rubber. It's like plastic, but it's pliable. I don't know. Get a barrel and put them in there. So I just got the plants here. I don't know what the heck it is. I should have probably. Where's the tag on it? It is whatever that is. Oh, it is sage. I was telling Gary that it looked like sage. It is sage. Awesome. I love sage. No wonder why I liked it. And I'm going to hang this plant up where you've probably seen in many videos of that dead plant over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that can go. And then I can hang this one up so I can kill this one too. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I end up doing. Yeah. This, they have little flowers. You can't see them because they close up in the afternoon and they open up um, in the mid morning. So it's like a cactusy flowering plant, it, a succulent. Yeah. I might put these by the driveway. Hmm. I really like them. I like that a lot. So, so Gary's measuring for um, shelves in here. Um, I thought I wanted floating shelves. So that would mean boring holes in here and getting a bracket. And they want $45 on Amazon for a bracket. That's just ridiculous. So the other thing is for him to build the own bracket, his own brackets and build like a box around it. I don't know how else to explain it, but so he's measuring now to see what he needs and stuff. I really do like these. These are the same shelves we have out in the back and the front porch. I think I like those. I know I like those. What am I saying? We're staying with but, this with. Yeah. After going on Amazon or no, Pinterest. We were looking at Pinterest, right? I've seen some shelves with um, corbels. Yeah, I'm thinking that's what I want here. And then not do, and that would be easier than building a box around brackets. So I'm going to do three shelves. Not that too low. That's how I had the other shelf. So I got some patching to do. I'm thinking here. Yeah, that's too low. Three shelves going up there like that so I guess that probably is, I don't know gonna come down most likely and yeah so what do you guys think of the corbels you think that's a good idea but the ones on Amazon the corbels on Amazon are ridiculous priced they're like $30 for I think it was for one and yeah I'll be good and well if I could find some at a thrift store or something like that but I need six of them and they all have to match so I'm gonna buy some bra wood brackets corbel looking brackets at Home Depot and chalk paint them and make them look um, rustic looking I think that's what I'm going to do so Gary's got his notebook out here making measurements and stuff and yeah now well, Gary pumped up my tire so I can run my bike tomorrow it wasn't flat, it just needed air in it. Okay, one curtain up, and I forgot I needed to do, I needed some tie backs. So I gotta go to Target and buy that. So I wanna swag that back. So this is the Roman shade that's up there now that I don't like, even though my sister made them for me. But they've been up there for um, five years. Um, I gave them a good try and it just blends into the wall too much I definitely like that and it's the same curtain as this so which those never even get closed it's just for aesthetics <laughs> well we never need to close them although my son will close them when he comes for a visit because he likes it dark in here anyway we like to see the outside this is pretty he's really tiny that and I'm making the bed and then I'm done. I still need an Epsom salt bath tonight. All right. Done. And done. All right, guys. That's it for Fix It Friday. Until next time.